Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Sushmita and today I am bringing for you a video that I have been very very excited about because in this video we are talking about books by one of my favorite authors Frederick Beckman. I mean Beckman is like I don't know the way Beckman writes his stories, the way he creates his characters, how he treats them and the amount of um, faith in humanity I believe he has or the amount of love he has for each of the characters even if they are flawed I just admire that and I don't know reading any book by Frederick Beckman gives me this this feeling that I that I cannot exactly explain but I love that I no one can make me feel the way reading any Beckman book does so yeah and we are going to talk about the books as well as rank them in order of my preference which is a very very tough job and if you ask me what are my Beckman book preferences then I think they will change after a few months depending on the kind of time I am having yeah anyway I'm having a really rough time <laughs> at the present so let's talk about books and let's talk about Beckman which will cheer me up so in the order of I think publication the books are first it was a man called Uva so originally Beckman writes in the Swedish language which is then uh, I have read the translated versions which were translated to English so first let's talk about a man called Uva it's a book that is so close to my heart so basically it is about a cantankerous a grumpy old man who is a stickler for routine according to him there is one way of doing something and that is the right way of doing a thing he is a man of principles and he does not like anyone who deviates from those principles even though at the beginning of the story Uva seems like such a cranky old man but as the story slowly progresses we get to know Uva we get to know of his life of um, why he is the way he is and we are introduced to his immense capacity to love and his immense capacity to give to give anything that he can for the people he loves and the honesty with which Uva's feelings for his wife is expressed in the book. Um, I think that's very unrealistic expectations <laughs> from relationships, I think. Uva is a person that even if you feel irritated by at first, but you are definitely, definitely going to fall in love with um, as you slowly get to know that person. And I think the world needs people like them. The world needs people who do the thing instead of talking about doing things. And it is such a lovely, lovely book. The next book by Beckman is My Grandmother Asked Me To Tell You I Am Sorry. It is a very um, sweet and a wholesome portrayal of the relationship between an almost eight-year-old Elsa and her grandmother. So Elsa is a very smart, funny, passionate and a very inquisitive uh, girl. And her, hus her husband, her grandma is... Um, then a very passionate lady of a force of nature the kind of person we call a force of nature and um, Elsa is left with a mission by her grandmother which is to deliver letters these are letters where the grandmother tells sorry to different people and throughout her course of following her mission and fulfilling it Elsa discovers more about her grandmother learns the kind of person her grandmother is understands her and she emerges out with greater understanding and emerges out to be her own person but well almost as much of an own person and almost eight year old can be it is a very very sweet book with great ponderings about life and such great philosophical questions said in the innocence of an almost eight-year-old. It is a very sweet and heartwarming book and I absolutely love it. The next book by Buckman is Brit Mary Was Here and um, it follows the life of Brit Mary who's a sort of a quirky person she's one of a kind and she's a very devoted wife and she manages her home perfectly and loves her husband almost idealizes him in a devotional manner and one day when her world starts to crumble when she realizes that this family that this world she has built around 
a person that was all fake and when she has been betrayed she decides to take matter into her own hands find a job move to a new place and there she builds a family of her own in this community of misfits where she becomes a very integral part of there she learns to live a little bit for herself in addition to living for others then we have and every morning the way home gets longer and longer it is a very short novella and it follows the story of a grandfather and his grandson the grandfather is suffering from dementia and he is slowly losing his memories and in such few pages beckman is able to explore the relationship between the grandfather his son and the grandson in such a poignant manner that i actually cried reading this book Actually I read uh, I cried reading all uh, Beckman books and I am also a easy crier. I cry very easily and um, I have been mocked for it. I have been humiliated for it. But yeah, that's how I am actually and I'm not at all apologetic. I'm not at all apologetic about it. So, yeah. Anyway, the it is a very beautiful heartwarming and a very nice read and so if you are someone who likes to read short books and who does not have long periods of time to read a book but you also want to get that satisfaction of reading a very fulfilling story then then this is a book that I think you will love. The next book by Ackman is Bear Down. This uh, book f- is very different in terms of its plot and characters than the books by Beckman, and it follows the lives of the people living in a very small town called Beer Town, and it is a town that loves ice hockey. It is an integral part of that town. Each of the people living in Beer Town are, in some way, related to ice hockey. It is a sport that is there. only hope of being seen sort of a claim to fame for this small town and their hopes and dreams and their faith rests in the players of this game and people who are responsible for making this game happen but one day something very terrible terrible happens and a very loved a very talented and sort of a ice hockey star of that town does something very horrible and now what are the consequences of that action and how the town deals with it is what is followed in this book it is a very plot driven and character driven uh, novel and each of the characters are written with so much love and so much care and so much empathy even the people who mess up even the people who you may not like but they are written with such love and affection and so much of empathy that you are going to feel a little bit of empathy for those characters as well it is a kind of a book with characters which feel like they are a part of your lives and when the book is over you miss those people it's as if you have talked to those people it's as if you have interacted with them and after the book is over it's as if you have been separated and you end up missing them so it's a kind of a story that stays with you for a very long time even after you are done reading the book Actually I read this book during lockdown and I read it in a single sitting. I read it after dinner and it was morning by the time I was done with the book and I didn't even realize how much time it took. I only wept in between. <laughs> That's the only break that I took. So, yeah. The next book is The Deal of a Lifetime. It's again a novella. It's a short story or a novella. I don't know, I have my doubts, but it tells us about this man who is very successful and is rich but in his quest for being this successful person he had to sacrifice his personal relationships and now he's in the hospital and he is presented with this choice by death that he can either choose to be removed from earth from existence he will be removed completely from the memories of his loved ones for the people who knew him his existence on earth will be completely removed or um in place of another girl or he could um choose to live and in doing so Uh, another little girl is going to die so it is a very short book but it raises so many important questions and it ponders and it makes you ponder about so many questions of life it is it poses so many existential questions within just a few pages and so i think this book was 45 50 pages long and within those few number of pages it makes you question your life choices it makes you ponder so many existential questions um uh, it was such a brilliant brilliant idea and concept and um it was a very great read i mean i had uh, some issues there were some uh, plot holes that i found which is not really a thing for beckman mo- uh, books for me because i just love his book so much that i forget 
to question many things but in this book i think i had a few questions the next um, book is us against you uh, the sequel to beer town the people of beer town are then confronted with a choice that they should they make the decision to stand up for what is right which is a hard choice because it would come at the cost of winning in ice hockey championship or doing the very easy thing which is to ignore that something horrible has happened and choose to stick with their love for the game and um blame blame a victim for being the cause of it it brings forth so many terrible terrible things that people are capable of doing and also the greatness that people are capable of so it's again a very great uh, book i immediately followed this book after reading beer town and <laughs> i read it again in one sitting and i wept through it as well it is a very good book and it is a book after um, i think the first one by backman that has so many um political questions as well it ha- it raises many moral questions and it also raises the issue of this locker room talk and how normalized it is what are the consequences of it so there's that so yeah it is um, it is a very great sequel to a very great book now the next book by backman is anxious people it is such a heartwarming and it is such a joyous book okay it's sad at times but it's a book that will bring you joy when you read it and it almost seems like a love letter to people and so the story follows this person who is struggling in life and decides to rob a bank fails spectacularly at it and then decides to take hostage the people that are in an apartment showing so now after this failed robber is in this apartment uh, showing taking hostage all the people that are there and then being in a lockdown situation and during that situation all the people that are in that um lockdown situation are explored we get to know more about them their characters are developed deeper and uh, we also get to know the lives of the two policemen that are involved in that hostess in that hostage negotiation um, situation and just beckman i think in this book tells us not to judge a person by just one by just an action of that person we don't know what a person is going through we don't know the life story of a person so it's very easy to judge someone but at a first glance but i think when we take the time to get to know a person then we have a deeper appreciation for that person and it is such a love loving 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 book and i absolutely love it the next book i think the last one um, by beckman till now is the winners it is the third and the final book in the beer town trilogy it is a great book no doubt uh, but i think it could be a stand alone as well because the book has been published after so long after beer town and us against you that i think uh, the author has given a lot of flashbacks so when you are reading these three books back to back then the third one um seems like very repetitive but if you are reading the third book after a very long period of time or if you are reading the third book just as a stand alone one then it's a very great book so in um, us against you so many people from beer town they move out of town for jobs for education and for explore for exploring their lives and now in us uh, and now in the winners they are coming back to beer town uh, for a special occasion and they are reuniting and there are tempers running high as a result of the incidents that happened in us against you there are unresolved conflicts and something that just took away one of my most favorite characters and it's not a spoiler because at the very beginning you would get to know who that person is or who the character is and it just broke my heart i i it felt like losing a very dear one to me and it was a very sad beautiful and a great read to be very honest and now to do the mammoth task of ranking these books my last a uh, pick would be an every morning the way home gets longer and longer and the deal of a lifetime because um these are the books that are like these are novellas very short reads and 
I don't know I could not get into the characters and the story as much as I could get into in the other books and above these two I have the winners again a great read but as I, I read this book uh, one after the another for making this video and then I realized how repetitive it is so that's the reason it's above these last two then after the winners I have anxious people and us against you and above them my all-time favorites a man called Uva and beer down so anytime you ask me the other rankings might change but my top picks a man called Uva and beer down it's always the same and I think for Beckman lovers I, this list will vary greatly among everyone and I would really love to know your favorite Beckman reads and also your rankings as well so let me know if you agree or if you disagree and if so why thank you for watching my video till now and thank you for supporting bye